Well, good morning. Today, it, well, I should say good afternoon because it's already past 12. Um, today is Thursday, November 2nd. I um, didn't walk this morning because I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He, he tripped in bed and hit his head. He won't wake up in the morning. I don't know if that's the right words, but that's the words I always say. Um, I hope I have this thing figured out on my, that it's not bouncing as much as it used to be. It's, uh, it was always very annoying to me that it did do that. But I had to go to the bank to put some money in the bank for Mary, and I found a bank that's worse than mine. It's Mary's. I stood in line, well not stood in line, I waited in line in my car forever, and finally got up there, and she says, I'm sorry, but this isn't the right account number. And I go, well, that's the number she gave me. And they go, well, that's not the right one. I said, well, can you look it up under her name? So they said, fine. So what's her name? So I told her her last name, and I spelled it for them. It comes back, I don't show anybody by that name. So I said, well, I, can you look again? So he, said, he looked again, and he says, well, I do find one, a Mildred. And I go, no, her name is Mary. M-A-R-Y. So she looks it up again. She said no. Yet another thing my mother did wrong. I don't know why, but we, like I told you before, Mary's birthday is January 25th, but uh, until she started kindergarten, we celebrated it on January 28th because my mother didn't have her birthday right. And uh, no wonder she set our house on fire. She was the revenge. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then uh, come to find out that Mary's name isn't really Mary, it's Catherine with a C, but they always called her Mary. My grandmother's name was Catherine, so I don't know why they just didn't name her Mary Catherine if my mother was just going to call her Mary. But then again, my mother's family is very odd. My mother's name is Muriel June. They called her June. My Aunt Agnes is Lorraine Agnes. They called her Agnes. My Aunt Marge was Ruth Marjorie. They called her Marge. And my Uncle Ken was Herbert Kenneth, and they called him Ken. So I guess it's now that it's all clicking, now I figured out. My mother's family was just all backwards. But anyway, so then they looked that up, and she, he says, no, I can't find that. I don't think she has an account here anymore. And I go, uh, she just texted me this morning and asked me to put this money in, so I know she's got an account here. And they go, well, I'm sorry you don't. Well, there was all kinds of cars behind me, and I don't want to be the car that's holding everybody up. So I went and parked and tried to call Mary. She didn't answer. So I went inside. So then the lady gets on the looks it up and she says, well, I can't find her. And I go, well, I know she's got an account here because I put money in here before. And um, so they, she looked it up and that, and she said, well, what street does she live on? So I told her what street she lives on. She says, well, what credit union did she open the account in? And I said, well, I told her the two cities that I thought they might have been opened at because the two branches in the two different cities. And so she says, well, yeah, that's right. She said, last question, what's her email address? And only because I am not one of those people that remember people like your number one on my phone list or your number five. I know your actual phone number. I know your actual email. I don't have to look it up. I just know it. I want to keep my mind sharp. So I don't remember um, numbers like that. I just remember your phone number. I remember your, your, I know your address. I know all of this stuff. I just, I just, I had a head injury when I was younger and I always read that um, that would cause Alzheimer's and later in life. So I always wanted to keep my mind sharp. So um, I always made a point of memorizing stuff and keeping it in my mind. Denise calls it useless information, but anyway, I have it. So anyway, they did finally find her account, and I did uh, was able to put her money in. And there's an am ambulance coming this way. Nope, it turned off into the mall. So it must be... Um, Somebody must have got ill at the mall. Okay, buddy, I was going to let you out, but I'm not going to wait forever. And then this is my big pet peeve. This is like the hardest intersection to get out of from the shopping mall. And I let this car out ahead of me. And I didn't get a wave or a thank you. It's like you want to take it back if you could turn back. If I could turn back time. I know, once again, can't sing. Um... Anyway, I was looking online this morning, and Weight Watchers is yet again going to change their program in 2018. 
and once again the Oprah effect because Oprah's coming out with her own food line and they're going to have um, frozen food entrees and they're going to have it that you can have it delivered to your home kind of like Jenny Craig or um, is it Miracle, Miracle Weight Loss Program I know there's a couple of them, Nutrisystem, where they deliver the food to your home, so Oprah's going to do that, which um, we had brought that up in one of our meetings. It's kind of fast, uh, not fast food, but frozen food is really loaded with sodium, so unless they can figure out a way not to put so much sodium, I don't know that that's going to be a good fix for a Weight Watcher program, but we'll see. And they're going to keep the fruits and vegetables at zero, and the... Uh, Eggs and lean meats, or lean proteins, I think it was, are going to be zero points. So that'll be interesting. I have an egg every day, so that'll be two points extra that I can have somewhere else. And they're going to change the weeklies. Right now, everybody, it seems, gets 42 weeklies. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. But it's going to fluctuate up to 49 weeklies, which I... I that's, I don't need that because I use all my weeklies on the weekend and then some. So we'll see how that program's going to work. But they're not going to kick that off until, um, when is it, the, the new year, like Jan in December 31st or January, you know, to start the new year out to get new members. They're looking for ways to put people in the seats. I'm telling you, the way to put people in the seats is to lower that fee a little bit. I realize that they got to pay the rent, they got to pay the people that work there and all that. I understand all of that. But I think if you got a couple extra people, it would offset the uh, cost of the program. Because it's always funny when you start at the beginning of the year. Our, our meetings were packed, just packed to the hilt. But now, I mean, we have a good crowd that shows up, but you could, you, we really could uh, fit a lot more in there. And my leader is really growing on me. I really do like her now. I was thinking that nobody would replace Kim, but she's she's doing she's doing a pretty good job. I have to give her that, I give her credit for that. So I'm gonna go pick up. I did I think I did mention, but I didn't walk today because of the rain. I do walk in the rain, but it's just a, a crappy rain today. It's not a, a walking in the rain kind of a day. Not that most people would think any kind of a walking in the rain day is a day. But I don't mind walking in the rain. I really don't. But anyway, I'm going to pick up Alyssa from school because Jimmy has an early job that he has to get to tomorrow and the latch key doesn't open in time. And so rather than him bring Alyssa like in the middle of the night, basically, I just said, why don't I just pick her up from school and we'll have dinner together and uh, go from there. I plan on having a Weight Watchers pizza and... Um, I think I'll just give um, Alyssa. I got some chicken nuggets that I have for the kids in the freezer with some French fries. And she loves cottage cheese, so maybe that with cottage cheese. Alyssa's not much of a eater. She just going through a phase where she doesn't really eat a lot. Whereas David never went through that phase. David always eats a lot. <laughs> but my food bill, is, since he's left, is, has gone way down. On. Nice time to see now that I should have my lights on. I'm almost home. But um, anyway, I'm going to stop babbling, concentrate on what I'm doing here. So I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, it's time for breakfast. Um, I started my day with a prayer. I drank 48 ounces of water. Um, I didn't go for a walk today because it's been raining. Uh, my quote is, a person can succeed at anything if you have unlimited enthusiasm for it. 34 smart points, 2 points for my egg, 5 for my 2 slices of um, unbuttered cinnamon toast, 0 for my berries, banana, and grapefruit, and 0 for the tea and the water. It's 7 points, so I have 27 left for dinner. I'm going to uh, put the raspberries on top of the toast. Okay, it's time for my dinner. As you can see, I'm going to have a pizza. Um, I used um, a third of a cup of the mozzarella. I used a half of cup of the pizza sauce. I have 12 pepperonis and one slice of the uh, flat out bread. And I have three tablespoons of the Olive Garden Italian dressing on my salad. 
So I have two points for the flatbread, three points for the third of a cup of mozzarella cheese, two for the 12 turkey pepperoni, two for the half a cup of pizza sauce, zero for the salad, five for the dressing, and zero for my tea and water. Uh, what I did was I put the flatbread in the oven at 375 for two minutes, and then I took it out and I added the pepperoni, or actually I added the pizza sauce, then the cheese, and then the pepperoni, and then put it back in the oven at 375 for an additional four minutes. And I like a little crispier. I'm not really a big fan of thin crust, but I'll let you know how I liked it. Well, I have to tell you, that was pretty darn good. I would eat that again. I've seen other people on other Weight Watchers channels eat it, and I always thought it looked pretty good, and uh, they were right. It's very good. And I think it I think it was like eight points. So for eight point for a dinner, look at how big my, my dinner was yesterday. It was almost 20 points. And uh, I think I only ate, see, memory. It wasn't that long ago that I ate, but I can't remember. I think it was 11 point dinner, and that's not bad. Um, I'm hoping to walk tomorrow. It's supposed to still rain over the night. We'll see. And stay on program. So like this video, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you guys tomorrow.